Hello everybody, it's Jennifer and I want to talk to you guys today about how to take watercolor that you buy in a tube and put it into pans so that you can make your own palette, your own box full of watercolors that um, you can take with you that are easier to use. You know, some people might ask why would you want to do this? Why not just use the watercolor in a tube? Um, there's lots of reasons. I personally enjoy using watercolor in a pan better than the tube. Um, they both have their places and every artist is going to have their uses for whether they do it um, in the dried pan form or they prefer to use the tube. But my thinking behind it is um, there are a certain amount of colors that I use all the time. Um, you know, obviously I mix them together and whatnot, but I always find myself using those exact same colors. And I have all of these tubes of the colors and, you know, a lot of times I'll sit down, squirt them out, and they kind of get jumbled on my, um, on my, I use a plate as kind of my mixing palette. Uh, I don't know which color is which. When I get up, you know, with five kids, you can't really dedicate a lot of time to just sitting and painting and mental noting where things are. For me and the way I paint and my lifestyle, I really enjoy having a palette put together with all of the paints that I use on a regular basis. I know exactly where they are. They're all organized. I've actually written on the pan so I know which ones to refill. Um, and I just, I enjoy how the color comes out more from pan watercolors for my style of painting. So obviously this is gonna be really subjective to the kind of painting that you like to do. Um, a couple things that I want to note before I show you guys how to do this is that different colors um, and different brands definitely handle this process a little differently. Um, so my best advice to you is to just test it. You know, watercolor pans <clears throat> are really inexpensive. Uh, I think I got 50 on Amazon for like $4.99 or something like that. Um, a box like this I think was $15. If you were to buy a pre-made box of, of already filled pans of Winsor Newton, um, of this is 26 colors here. Oh, with the um, professional quality uh, paints, watercolor paints, you're probably looking at, I don't know, $70 to $100 easy. Um, I think most people who paint with watercolor will start accumulating paints as they go. Unless you have a large amount of money just to throw into an already pre-made uh, set, then that's awesome. I bought paints as I went along, so I bought a whole bunch of different uh, little tubes of paints, and then I started filling my pans. Now, something to note with these tubes is that you can get, I use half pans, you can get probably three or four half pans out of one of these little tubes. I feel like it's more cost effective to do it this way. You know, everybody has their stance. Um, some people will say absolutely don't put Winsor Newton um, tube paint in a pan, it won't be the same. Well, I have not found that to be the case at all. Um, there are a few colors, uh, Viridian for one, that, that kind of solidify almost like a rock. They really do get very, very, very hard. That's the only one that I've come across myself. Um, I've heard some people say that if you mix a little bit of glycerin, like for a half pan, maybe two or three drops when you do fill the pan and mix it in with a toothpick, that that will allow uh, the moisture to saturate the paint a little bit better so that it doesn't become a rock. But for the most part, I've found with all of the paints that I've used, and I've used a number of different kinds, um, Academy paints, um, I've used Winsor Newton, I've, us I've used probably five different brands, and they've all worked beautifully in, in transferring to a pan. So not only do you save money because you can refill them, but um, you know, it's really easy to do. 
it's more cost effective than buying a complete set and you get to specify what you want and where you want it. So I really do recommend doing this. It's very easy to do. I'll show you what to do so that you don't make the same mistakes that I did the first time. So anyway, I will go ahead and show you how I start uh, by organizing them out first so that I know which are which labeling the pans, filling them in a very specific way that has seemed to work really well for me and my other artist friends. And, uh, and hopefully you enjoy um, using your new specialized watercolor palette. Okay, first I just wanted to show you how I kind of set up my plan for the colors that I wanted in uh, my set. And so pretty much what I did is I laid out colors based on how I intuitively would want them laid out in my set. You know, this can be different for everybody. I mean, I go from, I, I have a, a couple different shades of black um, to grays to browns to reds to oranges to yellows. Um, I move to my greens. I paint a lot with yellows and greens, so I have quite a few of those to blues and um, and then a white that I rarely use but um, but this is how I laid it out so that I could see what I wanted in what order and um, and that way I could also figure out um, you know which which ones I know I use often and which ones I don't now as you can see some of these are full pans already. Like here is one of the Winsor Newton pans that I had purchased in my set. You can see how beautiful it is um, with a nice rounded top and filling the pan completely. Yours are not gonna look like that when you fill them, but I wanted to put them in on my, my plan so I knew where um, they were gonna fit in and where I had the gaps to fill with the watercolor that, that I'm gonna be putting in from the tubes. Okay, now that I have my plan, the next thing you wanna do is you, you wanna be really organized with with your um, color. So when it's getting low, you can refill it with the same color that you had it in before. So I just took a Sharpie and I wrote on the side. So this is the one that we're going to start off with, which is Lamp Black. You really want to make sure that you fill all of the edges because if you don't when the water evaporates when it dries it's going to shrink up and it's going to leave gapes on the side of um, your pan and what's going to happen then when you go to use it with your brush the water is going to get down in there and it's going to continually just build water and, and stay wet and it's going to eventually ruin your paints. Um, and, and so you want to keep it as uniform, as flat, without bubbles, without gapes. And that is why um, I have this needle here because it will help us kind of get in there and make sure that we get all of the watercolor in all of the sections. And all we're gonna do is start filling the corners. So you're gonna squeeze it into the corners and since I do have transparent pans, you can see it filling in there. So we're gonna get it all in there and then, then we can start filling the pan. Now, this first time around, you only want to fill it about half. And there's a reason for this. I'm going to go ahead and kind of mix it around and make sure that there is no um, bubbles in there and that it reaches the edges. And you can kind of double check with that with these transparent pans and you can see where there might be little holes and gapes in there. So, I'm getting it all nice and uniform in there. Now, as it dries, again, it's going to shrink up. So if you fill it halfway, then after it dries, you can go back and fill it again and 
any places where it has shrunk and left a gape, um, uh, some sort of a, a, a crack or a bubble or something like that, you can fill it in and it will look a lot nicer um, and a lot more uniform for you. And you have your first pan partially done. You just have to wait for it to dry before you finish it up. So again, you wanna make sure that you get all the edges first, then you start filling the inside. Only fill it about halfway, maybe three quarters, and then you're gonna let it dry for when you fill the rest of it. Okay, so I have let them dry and put them in my box and um, you know, I really didn't get any issues with cracking or with spaces being around the edge. It depends on if you're in a high humidity type environment or, um, or a really dry environment. And you know, I'm here in Colorado, we're really dry and it, they dried beautifully and um, with no issues. Now, I like to leave mine like halfway to three quarters of the way full. You can see here that I mixed in with the ones that I poured some of the half pans from Windsor Newton that, um, that I purchased that way. Now they are obviously full, um, at least the ones that I haven't used very much of, but I really like having them, the ones that I pour being half or three quarters full because I just feel like it's easier on my brush and it's easier on, um, you know, kind of pooling the water in there a little bit, which is the way I like to paint. So I, I think they're great. Now, again, if you get cracking, if you get some gapes, then you can go ahead and put another layer on top of this one and let it dry. And that way the um, watercolor will kind of seep in and fill in those cracks and the gaps and, um, and you can get it looking a little nicer. Um, but I'm really pleased with how these turned out this time and, um, and I have my, my new set together. Now, something I did wanna mention, when you do go to let them dry, um, you wanna make sure that they have air. You know, a lot of times um, you can just put, um, you know, a pan, a pencil, a paintbrush or something in the way and kind of close it a little bit so that air can still get to it. Um, and that way nothing really can get into the paints. They should dry within around 24 hours and be ready to use. And um, and there you have it, your own customized uh, palette for a lot cheaper than what you would pay if you were to buy each of these half pans individually. And it allows you to switch them out and and have the best of both worlds of having the, um, the dried pan paints as well as the tube paints while not having to buy both of them. So, all right, well thank you for watching and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And there you have it, you have your own personalized box, your own personalized palette of colors uh, for a fraction of the cost of what you would pay if you were to buy all of these individually as pans or half pans. And not to mention that, but you get to enjoy the benefits of using the dried watercolor as well as the watercolor and tubes. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a message down below in the comments. And I I am going to be putting out a lot more painting videos, um, watercolor, acrylic, alcohol, ink, oil, a whole bunch of things. I, I mess around with lots of different mediums of painting and I'm excited to share what I've learned with you guys. So thank you again and uh, until next time, be well.